Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number four of my Improving Australian Football Football Manager 2014 story. Uh, today, another couple more games to you. Uh, we have been absolutely dominating. I don't think I could have done much better so far, uh, winning all four games. But also, to keep in mind, Brisbane Raw have basically done the same. Um, we've just got a slightly better goal difference. Uh, best Art Barisha has been... <sighs> He's been a great striker as well. Got to watch out for him. Like a lot of my focus is on my team, like really performing well. But Barisha has been equally as good, if not the best uh, player so far. Uh, but the best average rating has been awarded to, or not awarded. Like uh, Billy Seleski has got the average, yeah, best average rating. So he's been actually a decent signing uh, for a free transfer. He's been the best player uh, by average rating so far can't do more than that so it's all right if people were wondering about these players here i didn't sign them personally uh, they were there coming from the ais uh, at the start of the save they're joining adelaide united uh, the youth team in real life so that's why they're joining they're nothing too special like uh, benjamin warland uh, he's a decent center back but for a young player he may grow into a good player not really sure uh, mark uchiang don't really know if he's good there's no scar reports or anything uh, he's a right back and can play center back as well uh, not really sure. Yeah, I haven't really looked into these players too much. Yeah. And Dylan Smith, he's got some decent attributes, actually. Long shots, 13. Passing, 11. Technique, 12. Depends how he develops, really. Uh, but yeah, he's getting game time. And at a good team as well. You know how I talked about the AIS in the first episode, how they have superb training facilities and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty good. But here, um, games in this episode, Newcastle up first, Newcastle United Jets, and then uh, Perth Glory. So yeah, uh, some... They're all games are tough. Well, the way I've played so far doesn't seem that way, but still, like, because of the salary cap, I've mentioned it before, it makes it close. Like, no team is going to be far, far ahead unless you have some amazing uh, foreign players, which I think I do have personally. But then it's not like they're so high rated. Like, if I go to Syria, he doesn't like he has insanely high attributes, like over 16 or something. So that's what I mean. Uh, we're just playing, they're playing well together. Uh, we're going to have to rest some players here, like Casio is out and that kind of stuff. And who's in? Oh, yeah. Um, the difference here is Mabil. Uh, he's made the bench. He's been really, really good for the under 18s, actually. Scored two goals, three assists. So uh, he's performing. He's doing his job so far. And yeah, definitely deserves a call up on those ratings. So yeah, he makes the bench. He might come on, like, as an impact sub uh, with some pace and trickery. And actually teaching him to run with the ball a bit more often, because he does in real life. He doesn't have any preferred moves, which I think is wrong. I think he should have that, like runs at the defense and stuff. He definitely should have that. But the big news here, we're facing Heskey. We're playing Heskey in this game, and you can see he's 35, and he's still a good player for this league. But he hasn't scored yet. Three games, no goals. I'm surprised by that, to be honest. I know a lot of people like think he's crap and stuff, but uh, for the A-League, he's a pretty good player. And they've got some talent as well, like Craig Goodwin, I like him as a player. He's decent, got a scout report already. Anyone else? Their defense is questionable, though. Um, that Tad Ross, left back, not the best left back in the world, like, or just in the league. <laughs> uh, but still, uh, and their goalkeeper, Ben Kennedy, he's not that great as well. He's okay for the A-League, but yeah, uh, he's prone to making errors. But we'll go in, and yeah, no, oh, about Heskey, what can I do to, let's just tackle Heskey hard, just for fun, and see how that goes, and show him to his weaker foot, and I'm surprised Taggart's not starting, actually, he's really good on the update, a good striker, so, if he comes off the bench, he could be danger, but Q Challenge is probably one of the better defenders, uh, very experienced as well. He's played for the national team, uh, Netherlands national team, so he's experienced. It's definitely what Newcastle need. That's what they were lacking. But yeah, let's go in now. Try and get a win at home. I would be expecting to win this the way we've been playing, honestly. So we'll go passionately. Do it for the fans, yeah? Give them something to cheer for. Uh, Nigel Bugard gains confidence. You know he's been a danger from set pieces so far, scoring three goals in the first four games. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good effort. And yeah, I personally think we should be winning this game. And yeah, if you're enjoying the 3D, um, I appreciate it yeah, if you do, because it does take a lot more time to upload. So yeah, always leave your thoughts on the 3D if you want me to keep yeah keep it up. Come on. Got to defend this here. Oh, Bugard again. He's so good in the air. 
he wins headers all the time. Not surprising he scored a few goals already. Yeah, he's been really good. Oh, Seleski, great ball for Kuroska. We'll get this. Oh, no way. I thought that was for sure. I thought the goalkeeper was out of position, but not to be. Great save in the end. What is it? Great save or poor shot? <laughs> Which one? Oh, but dangerous throw in here. Zulo get to it. Uh, Cassio missing, I think, for the first time. Comorone. Seleski. Geronimo. Oh, that was close. But yeah, I can really tell already. I'm enjoying this so much more recording it because, well, in general, I enjoy playing this more, especially in this time. Like maybe it was the start of the game. It's different, like a new football manager game. But at this point, I'll enjoy it more than like any other league just because it's Australian players pretty much. And I have more knowledge of it as well. So yeah, just I'm really enjoying it right now. So definitely this will be the save I do up until FM15, regardless of what people think because it's my channel, don't forget. Oh, here we go. Karuska goal. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'll score eventually in this game. He's too good. He's too good. But he was up against Q Yallens, like the guy I talked about, the experience. But he just, he didn't track him. He tried to go for the offside call, but he wasn't going for it. It definitely was not offside, and Karuska finds the back of it. He's our star player. But surprisingly, he's not uh, Marquee. Uh, that's Geronimo, the striker. We'll see what we'll do here for... If we could score another. I really do not like 1-0. Oh, there's Heskey. He finds Griffiths. Uh, good save. And he's like the brother of the Griffiths we have. Both strikers as well. And that was a very poor corner. You don't often see corners like that. That's what I mean. Like, a Honestly, A-League players... Um, not all of them, but a lot of... Well, not, I don't know. Some. Yeah, I'll say some. Um, every team has some crap players, honestly. I say I don't think they're good enough for professional football, like the Australian players, like the backup players for the first team, they're not that good. But just, yeah, making up the numbers, especially with the wage budget as well. And salary cap, you need some players on cheap wages. So they get some players from local leagues and that to make up the numbers. Anyway, we'll say don't get complacent. But yeah, I'm really happy about my team, um, honestly. Uh, with the salary cap, it's a good mix. Like uh, We're playing well so far. And it's not like you don't need a huge squad because there's only one game per week, like one game every seven days or so. So it's not like you play multiple games in a week or anything. There's no cup competition unless, of course, you get into Asian Champions League. But still, uh, yeah, you get most times you get a good break uh, between games. Uh, yeah, we'll make some subs here. Who are we going to bring on? I really want to bring on Mabil, even though he's only 86 condition, but I just want to bring him on. Uh, Ciro hasn't had the best of games. We'll take him off. And anyone else? Actually, I'll drop Seleski back. But actually, I might change his role to deep line playmaker. He's a bit more preferred there. And Isaias will come off for... Uh, I'm not sure who. Oh, I know. I know what I'll do here. Uh, Jite. And drop Morales Newman. Put him onto the right side. Why, do I call him, why didn't I call him... See, <laughs> that's his name. It's Geronimo. That's what everyone goes like. He goes by that name. I'll just do two subs for now. Might get an injury or something. But yeah, Mabil will go on to the left side. Uh, Karuska through the middle and uh, Geronimo on the right. Uh, no pressure on Mabil and Jute. Uh, faith in him. So yeah, I'm excited with Mabil. He's a dangerous player. He's dangerous. A very good dribbling player. That's his skill. He's got pace and dribbling ability. Uh, that's oh, See, I knew. I'll get an injury. Oh, he just came on. I know 86 condition, but maybe I shouldn't have. But it's not like a key injury. It's just a young player, so at least that's the case. Actually, no. I'm going to put Ferreira on the right. Is he more preferred on that side? Oh, he is, but Geronimo is not. So what do you do? I'll just leave it like that. And yeah, Ferreira gets motivated with that. Even Ferreira, again, he's another... Like, all our attacking players, all these players from uh, European countries or South American countries, uh, it's good. Uh, they're great talents. But I'd like another goal here at home. Seleski. Finds Geronimo. Pen! If that was real life, he would have dived. Uh, Seleski, Malik, Karuska. I gave it away. 
Go and win this. No, Griffiths is on. It's to Heskey. And it's a wasted opportunity by Heskey. <laughs> Come on, we've got to hold on here. It's only 1 0. Go for another. Oh, go now. Oh, what? Come on, we could have had a chance. But it's Karuska from the corner again. It's a goal. Oh, I thought it would have been Geronimo with the shot. Karuska whipped in. Oh, McCain scores. It's his turn to score from centre back. He's first of the season. Uh, been taking our chances from set pieces. Uh, yep, this should really seal the victory now. 2 0 ahead. Uh, Karuska again. He's just perfect. To the head of McCain. There was he was like on three defenders there and he won it. And you can see there in the comments he said uh Bugard was dominant in the air today, so uh, you can see his talents. And the whistle will be blown here. Yeah, I want to see Bugard. Like he must have high jumping something like that. Uh Bugard. Yeah, his jumping reach is fifteen. That's pretty good for this level. So yeah, that's understanding why he wins a lot of headers. And even McCain, he's a really good defender. His jumping reach is 13. It's okay. Yeah, he's just an all-round good defender, really, with those attributes. And, yeah, we'll go assertively. I'm very happy. But, again, the whole team's not getting amazing reactions because they just know... Because I'm giving the same team talks. But what else can I do? I'm not going to say you could do better or anything. Yeah, we did well, winning by 2-0. And we don't look like losing. <laughs> We're going perfect right now. And Kruska, of course, has been a key player. See, look at this already. I'm already in November. See, that's what I mean. The A-League goes past really quick. Not, and not just because there's not many games in a season, because there's only one game each week, like I was saying already. So you pass a week every game, if that makes sense. So I'll be going through like two weeks every episode, and I'll try and upload two per day. That means I'm going through a month every day. So yeah, keep that in mind as well, if you think this is going to be too long. It's definitely not the case. And look, Sydney FC, their manager's sacked already. Uh, surprise, surprise. I guess only Australians will get that. But yeah, uh, Sydney FC is basically, I guess, like maybe a Chelsea or Tottenham. They like to change managers all the time. Uh, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Now, where are we now? Uh, defending set pieces is suggested against Perth. Do you play against Perth already? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. See, that's what I mean. It's over again. So repeating... We were playing against teams we already played against. And Perth, we went against them 4-1. Of course, one of the 4-1 results. Oh, lucky Shane Smelt is injured. Uh, he's a really good striker. Again, probably one of the better strikers in the league with 15 finishing. Also here, we have signed Ian Crook as a coach. Yet another coach. Uh, we were able to sign one more. Uh, we had five out of six available. And he actually was a coach at Sydney FC for a time. You can see manager. So getting a manager, a guy who's been a manager before... Uh, as a coach, is pretty good. He's got some good tactical, yeah, tactical and technical, and working with youngsters, uh, decent mental attributes as well. Can judge players decently for this level, compared to my other coaches and even scouts or whatever. Uh, so yeah, he'll be important because a couple of players have came to me saying a couple areas are not good uh, for our training. It needs to be improved. Uh, so that's what I've strived uh, to do: signing up a couple more coaches. You know, I did early in the season. And like I said before, I'm already in November. That's what I mean. Uh, doing this really quickly. The A-League is perfect. And then we'll do ask to assign. You can see their changes are a little bit up. Makes defending coaching a bit better. And how about the youth? Does that change as well? Okay, that doesn't change. But oh, and also, Valkanis, he's really good. A youth manager. He's got 20 for working with youngsters. That's perfect. And level of discipline. I find that really important in general. Well, I don't know if it's actually a big impact in FM, but I still feel uh, discipline is a huge thing for your players. And yeah, he's he used to play as well. So he's important. He's a, yeah, seems like a very good coach. Or at least, yeah, youth. Something to do with the youth, he'll be good because uh, 20 out of 20 can't get better than that. So yeah, now we got the game against Perth Glory away from home. I'll still live on standard. I, I feel we can keep winning games. We're on great form. I don't feel we need to change it. I'm um, just thinking here. Yeah, I'm thinking who to sub out, but there's no one really. I could bring Casio back in. Yeah, I'll bring him in for Zulo, I reckon. And Mabiel. I don't know whether to keep him in. Because he picked up that injury in last game. 
Nah, I'll bring Zulu on because he's more... But I do want to give Mabil a go because I think he's a great talent. He's the kind of player we need. I don't know if he just needs a rest or something. He's match fit, apparently. Like you can see, he's got that pace as his key attribute. Natural fitness probably makes him a bit quicker. And then the dribbling. And yeah, so I'm still thinking about him. But yeah, we've got Fabio Ferreira, who right now is probably technically the better player. Slightly quicker, same dribbling. Uh, a bit more stronger technically. So yeah, just being smart. Because sometimes I always favor younger players, and it's probably not the best move. And yeah, I got I just got to think about it for a second. Uh, Ferreira technically will be the better player uh, for the impact, at least at the minute in this season. So let's look at their team, Perth, right now. Uh, Chris Harold, he isn't the best striker in the world. And actually, FM, he's, uh, he's rated decently. He's a young player still, so he can improve as well. He's a good passer. So he's actually better than I thought he would be. Oh, Daniel De Silva, this guy's probably the best talent. They need, this is why I'm doing this, basically. I want more of this guy. He's 16 only. He's got 17 flair. He's had interest from, in real life, he's had interest from multiple big European clubs, and I would imagine in the game as well. Okay, he doesn't. But when I did a per save, he was interested, and I sold him to a team. Yeah, like a big team. And also, that's another big thing. With young talent deciding, like if I get a young talent in my team that's huge potential and big teams are interested, I've got to make a decision when to sell him, best for the club, for the money and that, how much I get, but also which team to actually sell him to uh, for the best for his development. That could be a good decision as well, if he's going to get first team appearances or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll go straight into this game here. And I'll go assertive second option. Usually goes well. Uh, a lot of players listen keenly. That's an okay reaction. But yeah, Perth have some decent individual players, but as a team, they're not as good, I think. That's the best way to uh, sum up Sydney. They've got a lot of good individual players. But I suppose we have the same as that, but we have a lot of them, similar types, um, that will communicate well, uh, in my view. And Perth is not really like that. But this has not been a very entertaining first half, has it? Uh, no action, really. Yeah, very poor first half. Going to have to give it to my team. Assertive, I'm not happy. Yeah, and fire up the players, surely. I reckon, yeah, that's going to fire them up. We'll fire the lads up. And hopefully, uh, we can score in the second half and uh, continue on our winning streak this season. I've never actually started this well before in the A-League, <laughs> which is shocking. I can't believe it. And on YouTube as well. I always love on YouTube that I can show wins like instead of losses because then you can't tell me how to play. You can't tell me how to play when I do this. Look at that perfect stuff. That is perfect. That is exactly what I want to see. And again, Malik uh, creating it. Isaias, nice ball for Sirio. And smart ball. That's what I mean. The communication of the players. They know. The whole team, the communication, everything is working. The fluidity. Um, how they gel together. The passing, everything. It's going exactly how I want. Morales Newman. Oh, find Sirio! Oh! Almost. Now, Karuska to put the ball in again. Ooh, almost. Uh, Joshua Risden clears on that occasion. Risden's a decent fullback as well. Young player. Uh, Geronimo is offside there. Yeah, Isaias will come off here. Uh, who will bring on? Oh, uh, yeah, bring on Zulo. He can play all those positions, like in defense and midfield. Uh, who should I... Uh, Karuska actually hasn't had the best of games, surprisingly. I know what I'll do. I don't want to take him off, though, because he's a talent. Even Geronimo hasn't played too well. Um, Morone on a yellow? No, I'll take Morone off. Don't want him to get a red card. I'll bring on Bowles. Azula, have faith in you. He seems motivated. Same with Bowles. And he looks happy. Great subs there. And we'll keep the one in case we get an injury or something. We'll love another goal, though. Uh, who's got a knock for them? Wait, I want to click on you. Don't you hate that? No, I can't do it. And now they're going to score. No, saved. Uh, Jamie McLaren, ex-Blackburn player, but I, th I believe he only played in the reserves. Never made the first team. And again, it's another poor corner. Yeah, we need to make a sub here. Apparently, Malik is exhausted. 68 condition, you can see that. But we don't have anyone to bring on, see? No defensive mid. 
So I'm going to actually, yeah, now I'll take off Karuska just for basically to make him fit for the next game. I'll bring on Ferreira and say, I have faith in you. And he's motivated. Come on, Fabio Ferreira. He still needs to do something, but saying that, I haven't given him much opportunity. I've just brought him off the bench. But yeah, why would I rest Karuska anyway? He's too good. But this is a dangerous period. Goals are always scored, like in the last 10 minutes of games and stuff. So you have to be careful. Or score another one. Go now. Seleski, Geronimo should be on. And he's got it. Geronimo, he's too good. I know his name says Morales Newman, as I always say. But uh, yeah, his name is actually Geronimo. Look at that. Great finish. I'm surprised he scored, to be honest. I thought the keeper would save it from there, but... Yeah, uh, Geronimo is too good. Tackle him. Come on, Cassio. you got to win that, really. Tackle. Oh, good save, Galekovic. I thought that would went in. Can't win the header here. Geronimo, he's not really impacting the air. He's never going to win that. So we can play this comfortably away from home. It's really good. And again, sliding tackle. Who's that? Three. Uh, Bugard, again, he's been really good. He's been impressing me. See, I won't be able to tell. Like, on 2D, you don't tell how they slide tackle and stuff. So, it's yeah, it's definitely better playing on 2D. Or not, sorry, it's better playing on 3D in terms of seeing how your players play. You can see it more better, really. So, again, it's another victory. We seem unbeatable right now. And more than unbeatable... We win the games. It's not like we get some draws and something. We're winning every single game, which is insane. We'll go assertive. I'm pleased. And you can see now we are running away a little bit, but Brisbane uh, do have a game to play extra. So we'll see what they do in their game as well. And Melbourne Heart beat Sydney, actually, here. Del Piero not be able to... Look how good Del Piero. <laughs> oh, he would be the best player in this league, without a doubt. But physical attributes... Uh, is obviously poor, but technically he's insane. Uh, so that's another memorable victory for us. No one can stop us. And this is our assistant manager as well, because the manager at the time was from Spain, so he signed up his mate, obviously, who's from Spain. His fitness is good, so good for training, I guess. He's still fairly young, 40. But yeah, that's it. Had two games in this episode. If you enjoyed it, uh, drop a like and drop a comment for me to read, and I'll see you guys next time.